All right, I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is in Ableton to assign uh, your knobs from your controller, um, a keyboard note from your controller keyboard, or um, a letter note uh, like a Q or a W um, from your uh, basic keyboard. And first thing we're going to do is um, is assign a knob. So if you want to assign a knob, let's say we want to assign a knob here to this uh, this panning. All we need to do is uh, turn on the MIDI button right here. And then you're going to click on whatever it is that you want to control. It could be this, it could be anything. But we're going to work with the panning. And then you're going to move your knob. There you go. It recognized it. And then you simply turn off the MIDI. And then when you move the knob, it's going to move back and forth. It's as easy as that. Let's go ahead and uh, assign a key, a note key, on your controller keyboard. Um, that's pretty easy to do as well. You just simply hit MIDI, click on what you want. And normally you're going to want to use this for things you're going to turn on and off because obviously you're not going to be able to create much more movement. So I'm going ahead and clicking this. This will affect uh, whether it's activated or muted. I hit the key on the keyboard. It recognizes it as C2. I go ahead and turn MIDI off. And now every time I hit it, it's going to alternate between on and off. As easy as that. Now if I want to assign uh, a letter or a number uh, from my keyboard, um, that's pretty easy to do too. You're just going to turn this little keyboard icon off, which means when you're using keys from the keyboard, you're not going to be able to use uh, notes from your controller keyboard. So turn this off, and then you just hit key, and then we'll go ahead and click this same thing. And I'll assign it to a Q. You see the Q come up right here. And just like before, it could turn that off. And whenever I hit the Q, it's going to turn that on and off. Now you can do that with, uh, with a number of things. For example, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put an effect in, uh, in here real quick. Um, EQ3. Okay, so we've got a few controls here. If we wanted to, we could simply turn on our MIDI and assign three different controls. I click on the first one, move the knob, click on the second one, move another knob, click on the third one, move another knob. And uh, if I want to, I could say uh, assign a uh, key on the keyboard to L. And now we've got that. Go ahead and turn that off. And our key controls are low being in and out. And our other knobs all control the EQ. So it's a lot of fun to work with. Uh, hope you enjoy it.